Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In the previous video, we discussed how to create no reply mailbox. In today's video, we are going to dive into the world of Microsoft identity and share slight insight on how to set it up for sending emails from your application. It's an important topic, so let's get started. First up first, we have to log in into Microsoft 365 Admin Center and then we have to click on the navigation menu. Select the show all option to expand the navigation menu. Here we have to select identity. This will take us to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center portal. Expand the application section and select app registrations. Click on new registration. Provide the application name. Here I'm going to use Light Insight app. We can select accounts in any organizational directory. Redirect URI that we can leave as empty and click on register. Now that the app is registered, you can see in the overview section, we will have client ID as well as tenant ID. We have to save this information which will be used later in our Spring Boot application. We'll copy the tenant ID as well. Now switch to authentication. And scroll down to enable allow public client flows. Save the option. Next, we have to click on API permissions. There is a default permission, which is for delegate. We can delete that. Once that is removed, now we are going to add additional permissions. Click add permission, click on Microsoft graph and select application permissions. Because we want to send email using the application, we want to give application permissions. So select this option. Scroll down to mail section. Expand the mail section and select mail send scroll further down to the user section and select user read all click on add permissions here the two permissions are added under the type application. But as you can see, the grant access is disabled. So we have to click on grant admin consent and click on yes. This will enable the uh, permissions to be accessible by the graph APIs. Next, the last step is to create a secret password. So we'll click on Certificates and Secrets and click on Add Client Secret. Give a name to the secret. We are going to use Light Insight App Key. There are multiple options for the password to uh, expire. You can just leave the recommended suggestion and click on save. Once this is created, 
we will have the value the secret key value copy this this is the only one time we can see that value because as soon as you refresh or navigate out of this page you will not be able to copy the key again as you can see that's the only time we can access the value and there you have it folks a slight insight into setting up microsoft identity for sending emails from your application as always if you found this video helpful give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel for more tech insights and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video